open your ears, and lube up your butthole. It's time for the What Do We Call It podcast. Now, here's your host, it's J-Man. Welcome to the What Do We Call It podcast. I'm J-Man. This is Steiny. And it begins. Have you ever had a situation with your kid and you try to plan a birthday party for them and then the whole thing goes to shit? Uh, a few times. You yep. tell. Uh, so there was, uh, back when my son was younger, we used to do the split birthday parties because we were separated. And his mom lived in an apartment building that had a pool outside. And, you know, it's end of August. It was always great to do like these pool party uh, birthday parties for him. We'd mm-hmm. have both sides of the family come, friends and family. Our other friends would show up, and it was usually kind of a good time. The kids would do their own thing, playing in the pool, and the adults would hang out, grill, eat, chat. And uh, one year, of course, was hell of storms, and so we had to go into, like, the bathroom changing. Like, they have, like, a house right next to the pool, and so we did the whole thing in there. That that sucked. Um, and then even just this last year, for his 16th birthday party, Kept trying to get uh, him to invite people. We were going to do Whirly Ball over in MG, uh-huh. which was a blast, but it was all like family. He didn't have any of his friends show up or anything like that. And he still had a blast. It was great, but it was still like, what the hell, dude? Where were they? Uh, I don't know. He's being weird. And of course, the fact that he wasn't 16, maybe some of his friends couldn't drive or you know couldn't get dropped off because we do live about... 20 minutes away from his school district and whatnot. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, he has, he had a friend within the neighborhood that we kept bugging him to go and ask. Well, the reason why he didn't go and ask this friend is because this friend had had a girlfriend and then my son got talking to his girlfriend for quite a bit and they got Uh-oh. way too close for a while. And there was that, you know, typical stuff, but things have been resolved since, but at the time they were still kind of beefing, I guess. So, oh yeah. So not really, disasters but you know things where you're like planning a bunch of stuff and then it all just kind of goes sideways okay well this story will officially say hold my beer i don't nice my 10 year old it was her birthday middle of february she wanted to have a sleepover with friends from school and they were going to do it over at casa de beast and i got to thinking maybe that's not a good idea Considering what we were just talking about and her ex? Also, yes, because of that. But because the last time the cops were there and there was drug paraphernalia found, I'm like, you know what? Too much has gone on at your house. And the beast is like, what do you mean? I'm like, drug paraphernalia in your room, haze in the air. You're clearly doing drugs in your fucking house in the past. And also, you had a sleepover for the juice, our 12-year-old, for her birthday in October. And you said you're never doing that shit again because you couldn't handle all these little girls running around screaming and having fun. (laughs) So how am I in all good conscience with all I know of all the police activity and shit that's gone on? She's like, police activity? I'm like, what do you call it when your boyfriend fucking gets arrested for assaulting you? Well, whatever. Sure. No, not whatever, bitch. You've been fucking strangled and assaulted there and drugged. So no, it's not happening there. So then I make the decision to move it to my house. Fuck! And I'm capping it at three friends. <laughs> For your sanity. A yes. total of four. Plus, it was a weekend, so all my kids would be here. Yeah. Now, my wife decided she was going to take the two little ones overnight so that we could do this because Chi Chi goes, I don't want them here. They're going to interrupt my party. I'm like, oh, fuck you. You're screwing me out of time with your brother and sister. But yeah. whatever. So then we're free and clear of the littles. And she sends out the invitations. And she doesn't hear shit back for like a week and a half. And it's drawing very near. And the plan was just that we were going to eat pizza and then go sledding Mm -hmm. and then come back here and watch a movie and then they will go the fuck to sleep. (laughs) So the day before the party, she gets... Dropped off here by the The beast to kind of gather some materials for school for the next day. And as she's in the house, she's like, um, so my one friend, like her stepbrother has COVID, but her mom said that she tested negative and, uh, she can still come. I'm like, no, no, she can't. Mm. 
<laughs> she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I don't care if she's negative. Well, they said they'd test her again before school. And if she's negative, she'd be fine. I'm like, no. She could be full blown by the time she got to your house that we She could be a fucking yeah. carrier. Are you out of your mind? We're going to have people here that aren't from our household and it's going to spread to three other households. Bzz, wrong. Try again, dumbass. So I 86'd that. Right on. And I was editing. So I'm sitting at the computer. I'm making dinner. I'm not paying attention to what's going on. I get a fucking text message. <laughs> it's from the mom of the girl from the COVID house. Oh, of course. She's like, my daughter just got a text message from yours saying that she's not allowed at the party because of the COVID, but she's had a negative test and we're going to test her again tomorrow. So I don't think that that's fair that she shouldn't get to come. And it's really shitty that you had the kid tell the kid. And I'm just like, God damn it. So I called my daughter. I'm like, did you fucking text your friend and tell her I said she can't come? Well, yeah. I'm like, why did you do that? Because now her mom is texting me, assuming that I left it to you to notify them and I'm getting bitched at and I don't fucking appreciate that shit and you're starting a fucking war of words between parents way to go hung up on her so then I text back to mom I'm like my daughter texted yours without my knowledge she was supposed to leave it up to me to tell you and I'm in the middle of making dinner and wanted to try to formulate a kind of uh, courteous response before I just say your daughter can't come COVID 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 I wasn't looking to start a fight. And I will gladly, once it's all clear at your house in a few weeks, do a makeup date with just them. Sure. And she's more than welcome to come. But also, don't assume that I leave it up to the kid to notify you. That's a bit presumptive. No response. Hmm. So that's kid number one not coming to the party. The next day... I get a text message from a dad of another girl. She was up last night and she started throwing up. So she's not going to be able to make it. I'm like, okay. Of like, course. Wait a minute. Wasn't my kid at your house for a play date yesterday? Yeah, she was. God damn it. Okay. Well, Super. we're probably just going to reschedule the whole thing then just in case you guys got the flu or something. And then I have to call the beast and tell her what's going on and say, let me break it to her. She's going to be upset, but I'll do a makeup date. And then I had gotten, you know, a text message from girl number three's mom saying that she could come. I'm like, so here's the deal. Right. One girl had COVID. She's not going to attend. But then another girl was going to show up. And, you know, my daughter was at her house yesterday. That girl was throwing up. So the interest of not possibly transferring the flu to your house, I'm going to reschedule. I hope you're not upset. She's like, no, that's perfectly fine thank you for being so thoughtful a decent parent finally (laughs) and then about 75 minutes and change before the party was supposed to start girl number four her dad calls me to say oh hey yeah she can come to the party i'm like oh uh you were not doing it actually here's what happened he's like oh okay i understand well just let us know when there's a make update and hopefully we can get the our daughter to come over i'm like thank you for being understanding that and all of a sudden as I'm breathing a sigh of relief, it's instantly shattered. Really? Because You're my in a good daughter place. Oh, my yeah. daughter comes in and goes, So and so's mom says she can't come to any makeup date. I'm like, oh, is this because I put her mom in her place? Is that how emotionally immature she is? The, the that non-responsive she can't handle woman. being told yeah. that I'm not gonna have you fucking send your kid over here who might be asymptomatic and a carrier. Plus they're at home tests. That shit's not 100%. Fuck off. Well, and how old are the tests? I mean, some of those will expire after time. Some people have been sitting on those for like almost two years now. And I know that I'm not an asshole for how I handled it with that mom. Because I could have been way bigger of a dick. Maybe it was the last comment at the end of it. Don't the, be so presumptuous. This, yeah. Well, I'm sorry she had to go Google what that word meant. <laughs> Fucking A. I, dude, I've been to their house. I've met this mom. Okay. okay. There's no way that she has a vocabulary that's on par with mine. So she clearly thought that she was being talked down to because she was. Gotcha, bitch! Using all them big fancy words of yours. Yeah. So I did what anybody in my position would do who wanted validation. I went right to Facebook and I found an Am I the Asshole group. Oh, okay. And you asked the question. I did. Yeah? And I did. What was the uh, tally? 
Well, as I was explaining the story, I used a phrase that made some people upset with me Uh where I said, I did everything in my power to not scream at this woman that she was being a cunt. Oh, and because I used cunt, yeah. a bunch of ladies were all like, oh, you weren't the asshole. And then you use the C word. Now you're the asshole. I'm like, no, I'm not. It's fuck you. Fuck off. It's words. It's words. Yeah. It's how you take them. God. Not, One anyway. guy's reply to her was a meme of someone clutching some pearls on a necklace. <laughs> I'm like, fucking yes, that. <laughs> so everyone's resoundingly telling me I'm not the asshole. I did the responsible thing. One guy's like, hang on. So not only... Did you make sure that that kid didn't come to the party? You even rescheduled the party to make sure that no other kids got sick and you covered all the bases so that nobody else had to deal with sick kids or sick themselves and miss work? I'm like, yes. He's like, I need more friends like you, bro. (laughs) Right? And, And there's people just like, can you believe it? Not only did he like handle that with her and he was cordial and offered a makeup date and kind of left it as is and she didn't respond... But he even had to cancel the party, and he did so because he wanted to be considerate of other people in other households. And it sounds like, because multiple people said this, Mm -hmm. that other mom was just mad because she had plans that night, and she had to cancel them because she lost her babysitter. That's what happens. That does happen. And my daughter's, like, upset but not upset because she gets it. And she also kind of knows that there's a makeup date coming, so it's... That helps temper the expectations or fallen expectations. Well, I don't know when the makeup date's going to be now because the snow's melting what does rapidly. That have to do with it? Sledding. Oh, sledding. Yes, I'm sledding. sorry. Yeah, you're right. Uh, in a couple of weeks, there might not be any left. But... And I tried to do it on the Friday of their spring break because, again, the littles were gone up yeah. at the cabin with my wife and my stepdaughter. But the two other girls were out of town. Oh, Bummer. Each at different family and, members' houses. Yeah, because of spring break or something, too. Yeah. And I didn't ask until the Wednesday, and it was going to be on Friday. I'm like, ah, fuck. It's my bad. We'll get there. Well, and then you have Easter coming up here in a couple weeks, too. So, I mean, that's going to get in the way. I tried to make it up to her by, uh, instead of doing the party, we went to a movie. and uh, <laughs> She didn't take it? Didn't buy it? <laughs> Well, I mean, they were excited to go to the movies, but they didn't enjoy themselves as much as I did because we went and saw Cocaine Bear. <laughs> I'm sorry. I took. I'm going to take you to a my movie, ten but we're going to see a movie. Went I to go see, see Cocaine Bear because <laughs> I waited six months to see that fucking movie. I know. I, yeah, yeah. And it was so super duper good. Yeah. Oh, it was great. I love that movie. If you haven't seen Cocaine Bear, fucking watch it. That's Cocaine Bear, streaming now, exclusively on Peacock. And then I tried to double down, and we watched uh, Violent Night using our buddy Rick James's Peacock login. Sure. And they didn't like that one either. Violent Night, starring David Harbour of Stranger Things fame, streaming now, exclusively on Peacock. I think my son went and saw that one in the theater. It was a good movie, too. Yeah. He said it wasn't bad. He said it was kind of dumb, though, too, but I th- maybe maybe as an adult, we'd appreciate it more than the kids do. Okay, well, that one was kind of more Home Alone meets Santa. It's a- Krampus. A- kind of. I mean, it's David Harbour who plays Hopper on Stranger Things as Santa, and the setup in the beginning of the movie is, well, he's just a Santa. He's not the Santa. But then you realize he is the Santa. Oh, And there's a rich family, and there's, like, a kidnapping attempt, and he has to kill bad guys. And there's a granddaughter who he's there to protect all of a sudden because she believes in Christmas. So he's like, she still believes. I have to save her. And then he goes into fucking, like... So so the premise of the movie is if she didn't believe, he would have just got to leave her to the criminals? Yes. Oh, good Santa. Yeah. So he goes all John McClane while she simultaneously fucking goes Kevin McAllister... Up in the attic. Yeah. Is it way over the top, like Home Alone? Like some of the the, the things that she does? Cause... Yes. Okay. But to very satisfying effect. Okay. And then because we couldn't do the makeup date, I felt bad. So I took them to the movies and we saw Scream 6. <laughs> now, hang on. My daughter, the one, the birthday girl says that the Scream franchise is her favorite film franchise. Okay, so right up her alley then. So I made them watch last year, 
Scream 5. Yep. She's like, we have to watch them all. I'm like, what? We watched them all. And we've also watched Urban Legend. And I know what you all did last summer. late 90s, early 2000 movies. They like 90s slasher flicks, but they oh. won't fucking watch Leprechaun with me. They won't watch Final Destination because the Beast warned them never to watch. I know. I'm like, come on. If but that's you... right in the same vein as like, yeah, Urban Legend. Final Destination is why I never want to get on an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> and Final Destination 2 is why your mom hates driving next to semis. Oh, yeah. That's what that one was. Yep. I forgot about the premise for that one. So she might not get a party because of the weather turning to spring, but at least she got to see a couple of movies and, and have some fun. Favorite series, at least. Yeah, and Scream 6 was phenomenal. Was it? I did not even realize they were making a 6 until I saw it in the theater and I went, what the hell? Did they just re-show the one from last year? Like, what is this? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So somehow it's... this episode, which was about my kid's party being canceled, turned into three movie reviews. Yeah. <laughs> Siskel and Siskel. No, I, I guess. We'll see how it goes here in a few weeks if she can actually end up having that party and uh, if she gets to still be friends with that girl because it sounds like she hasn't mentioned her name much since then. Oh, bitch. I don't know. Girls don't get along very often. Well, maybe age. maybe you dodge a bullet then. Maybe maybe they'll kind of work themselves out and you never have to deal with that mom again. I hope so. Yeah. Interact with the show on Twitter at what do we call it? That is at what do we call it? You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash what do we call it podcast show. For the what do we call it podcast, I'm J-Man. This is Steiny. And that's the end.